we are having an update on Typhoon Nonmetal. Update 1. So this is what it is looking like right now. And it is pretty bad. So let's go see the strength of it. Don't worry, it's not actually Category 5, but it is 155 miles per hour. That's a very high-end Category 4. So that's not looking so good, especially for Japan. Especially for them, yeah. It's so expected to make a Category 3 landfall in Japan. That is not good at all. So let's just look at some satellite imagery for a second here. Okay. See that? And it has a really amazing eye. Really good. So, yeah. Um, so that, that's the satellite imagery for the storm. It's looking very bad. Daylight is just beginning to come into the western, the western Pacific. And it's looking like that. This thing is already causing some rain and wind to these two islands. Let's go check the wind over there. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's go check the wind. We'll update that later. Okay, so winds on these islands right now are just beginning to get tropical storm force winds, 40, 41 miles per hour at the most, and down at the lowest of 39. But, I mean, just look at that eye. Look at that. I'm going to go show you some just sour imagery on the eye. I mean, just look at that thing. That eye is completely insane. Okay. Well, let's look at the expectations of the storm. Okay, so right now it's 155. It's expected to actually become a Category 5 by 2 a.m. And start weakening. So, low in Category 5 it will be. And it will become a Category... It will make one fall in Japan at 115 miles per hour. Or maybe 120. Which is a Category 3. And Japan is not going to like that, are they? Um, yeah, so then it's going to become post-tropical as it's a Category 1. And go up there, and then that's when it's a tropical, a low end tropical storm. Okay, well, let's see what the GFS is saying about this. Just so you can see a good visual of this storm, it is right here. Go to this map. Right here, that's where the storm is. See that category four in there? That's where it is. Not looking so good. Okay, let's see what the GFS says. Okay, and more dynamics, and wind, and finally, let's get to the Western Hemisphere. Everyone, um, let's see. Um, we're in the Western Pacific right now. Okay, so here's that beyond insanity, here's beyond insanity of this storm. And is not looking so good. But let's see what they say about it. Okay. It's going to go up there. Oh my god, it's going to get massive. Make a bad landfall in Japan. A really bad landfall. It's going to start weakening pretty quickly out there. And two of our systems form. One of them is short-lived tropical depression. The other one becomes named. and becomes a tropical storm. That one will be called to last. And another one comes in. That one is turns out to be a tropical storm. Okay, that's interesting. That's what they're saying for this storm. Okay, um, well, let's go look at some other storms that are going on. That's all for this storm. That's for non middle Okay, um, so we don't have anything else going on in the Western Pacific, other than if you count this massive storm that's still there, but that really isn't a storm anymore. That is just, just not a hurricane. I mean, it's just like a good old storm up there. But, let's go look at Fiona. Fiona is, oh my god, it's actually making landfall right now. 
in Guadalupe, 50 miles per hour. It's expected to become a hurricane. See? Right, oops. Right up there, category 1, 80 miles per hour. Just not, you know. Um, let's get some sound imagery on that. We'll be. And also, we have Danielle up in the top, but that's. Making it's already made landfall in Portugal and it's completely dissipated, so there's not any more of a story about that. The world was active for quite a while, now there's only two storms going on. Okay, guys, that was Fiona, and that is all for our update today. Goodbye.